Tampa wins the Battle of Florida Game 1, 5-4. What went right? What went wrong? Is there an unverified recording of Julian Breezewa post-game? Find out on this episode of Distant Lightning. Okay, welcome back to Distant Lightning. So, what went right last night? Well, DraftKings likes Tampa more. If we look at the odds, the odds moved. More in Tampa's favor to win this series. It went from uh, minus 152 to minus 305, which means yesterday, if you wanted to win $100 on this, at the end of the series for Tampa, you would have had to spend 152 bucks. Today, you'd have to spend $305 to win 100 bucks. So that means Tampa's looking better. If we look at the Stanley Cup odds for Tampa, well, Sports Betting Dime has Tampa right behind Colorado to win the Stanley Cup after last night's performance. Obviously, the odds makers are seeing what I'm seeing and everyone else is seeing. Cooch is back, and it's magical. Cooch and Stammer delivered. Cooch scored two goals and an assist. Uh, Steven Stamkos got two assists. Now, these two, with Hedman and Point out there on the power play, I've never seen better tape-to-tape passing. It's it's like a, watching a ping-pong ball just go bouncing around. It's really amazing. Um, I don't think, though, the Lightning would have won that game without those two in the lineup. Uh, Vassy was really struggling out there to keep pucks out of the net. I mean, he gave up four goals. All right, what else went right? McDonough evaded a boarding call. It looked kind of ugly when McDonough uh, did that boarding, and he got away with it. Meanwhile, poor Bennett on the Florida Panthers misses a game for boarding Coleman. Now, I don't know, they look similar to me. Maybe there was an angle I didn't see, but McDonough got lucky, honestly. And uh, we'll have to see next game tomorrow if the refs try to make amends. All right, what else went right? Tampa's physicality was solid. We received it, but we also dealt it. Uh, There were lots of glorious hits, shoving and punching and off-camera shenanigans that really, I think, did a good job of keeping the Panthers uh, slow down and behind the play. Um, And they got caught on some retribution penalties, for sure, that led to some goal scoring for us. So, bravo there. What else went right? Braden Point got the game-winning goal. I mean, doesn't he always, though? All right, let's look at what went wrong. So the first thing that went wrong was Cooch missed his hat trick. I mean, he came back off off missing the entire season with an injury, having surgery, and he comes back, and he could have gotten a hat trick, but he flubbed, of all things, a breakaway goal. Normally, I mean, we see Cooch undress goalies in the worst ways, and you know Bobrovsky saw who it was coming in on him, and he must have, like, just did a coin toss and just said, I'm just going to jump in this direction and see what happens. And Cooch wasn't able to score. So he could have had a hat trick, but he got two goals. We'll take it. <laughs> what else went wrong? It wasn't stammer time. All right, Steven Stamkos, he was drilling pucks on that over and over during the power plays that we had, and Bobrovsky shut him down every time. So no goals for Stammer uh, this game, but maybe, you know, next game. What else went wrong? David Savard looks lost. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but I saw him really behind the play around Vassie's net. He was struggling to keep up with the Panthers. Um, He was struggling to maintain coverage. He always looked like he was trying to catch up. Uh, We need him to step up and either knock one of the guys down or take the puck away. That's what we need David Savard to do. He was... His plus minus going into uh, the game last night was minus 27, people. And he got minus two last night. So it's not looking better. Maybe he can find his game at some point. I was hoping like a few games in when he joined the team, he would start to sync up. I'm not seeing him sync up yet. Obviously, the uh, leadership of the Lightning went after him and brought him to the Lightning. So they know something that I just haven't seen yet. 
Okay, what else went wrong? I would say the Lightning defense. Yes, the Lightning competed defensively. But I happen to see uh, the Lightning defense, and this includes the forwards, okay, just the defensive game. The Lightning allowed the Panthers to skate into the zone multiple times, and their forward was able to skate right into the slot and shoot on net. I did not see that reverse. So this is something the Panthers are very good at. Nobody in the Lightning is tr- is skating through their def- defense, getting to the slot, and shooting. We saw uh, I saw Palat tw- try twice, uh, Kalorn, Sorelli. We saw lots of attempts to, to bring that puck into the slot to get a shot. It never happened. Go over on the Lightning side of the ice, it happens several times. The Panthers just move right in to get that shot off. That has to stop. That has to change. And uh, Vassy was struggling in that. I mean, I can't I can't say there are too many times I've seen him struggle to, con- to control rebounds, but he was doing it last night. Uh, he was really being tested. We cannot play McElhinney, guys. We cannot play McElhinney. Okay. Enough for what went right or wrong. I have somehow got an unverified recording here. So last episode, uh, an alleged Julian Brisebois, GM of the Lightning, was gleefully describing his shock and awe playoff plan with the return of Nikita Kucherov. Well, after last night's game, somehow I got an unverified recording. Allegedly, Julian Brisebois again. Let's have a listen. Hey, Johnny Boy, it is me, Julian. <laughs> I told you, shock and awe, didn't I tell you? Yeah, you doubted me. <laughs> Nikita, Nikita, he's so good. I mean, where has he been all season? Yeah, he hasn't been playing. <laughs> yeah, don't tell anybody, you know. We'll keep that between you and I and, to the, bo- and the boys. All right, so uh, let's. we'll see you next game. I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, just a little gloating. All right. See you, Johnny. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, Please like and subscribe to watch more of this vlog and have it show up on your feed. And we'll see you next time on Distant Lightning.